Hello, my name is Sam Harkis. I'm an audiologist at the National Acoustic Laboratories, part of Hearing Australia. I'd like to tell you about a project called 5000 Plums. But before I do, I want to acknowledge Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander colleagues who have shaped the project and who are part of the work. So you may be wondering what a plum is, apart from being a piece of fruit. So this is a plum. It's a 10 question listening skills checklist designed to be talked through with parents and caregivers of young Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander children, just to understand what their everyday listening behaviours are looking like. It's designed to help practitioners understand whether a child may have a long-term ear health and hearing problem that they need to be prioritised for next steps for as quickly as possible. And the practitioners that use it include audiologists, primary health practitioners such as uh, Aboriginal health workers or GPs and ear, nose and throat specialists. For the last few years, it's been part of Hearing Australia's standard assessment with Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander children. There are now over 5,000 appointments in the Hearing Australia database with young Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander children where the plum has been used as part of the appointment. And we now have this amazing opportunity to look at this information and learn more about how accurately the plum predicts a child's long-term ear health and hearing status, both by itself but also when it's paired up with other standard parts of a hearing assessment like otoscopy or tympanometry or hearing checks. And at the end of the project, we hope to be able to say things like, if you get this pattern of results, you can be reassured. If you get this pattern of results, then think about this child as being a priority for next steps and help the family connect with those next steps. We have now received approval from five health research ethics committees around the country to proceed with the project. Uh, and so we're just about to start looking at the clinical information. We hope to complete the project by mid next year, 2024, and look forward to coming back to you with the results. So it's important just to say that we are um, protecting very carefully the privacy and confidentiality of children and their parents and caregivers in this project. So we won't know the identities of children and their caregivers, we won't know exactly where they live, but we will know what state and territory and what, uh, whether they live in an urban, regional or remote part of the country. If in the meantime you'd like to get in touch, my email address is samantha.harkis at now.gov.au. I look forward to talking to you if you get in touch. Thank you.